Well, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, we've had some terrific uh, thunderstorms, heavy rain, tanks are full, so we're just moving a bit of water about. And I need to keep on top of this um, while we've got the uh, fresh rainwater to make sure we don't get uh, any uh, wasted. Must remember not to leave that running. <laughs> again it's uh, nice to see the level uh, nice and full I have to keep that uh, that low else I do lo lose water at the back I'm going to uh, drill a hole here and have a pipe that drops into here so I don't waste any but I like to keep this full handy for the watering can again we need to make sure we don't uh, let it overflow so a welcome to the jobs for July on our allotments. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on these uh, strawberries. Obviously I'll put them in these sealed containers, but we've had about uh, an inch of rain. So I'm trying to uh, ensure they don't get uh, drowned. But as you can see, this is uh, filled right up now, near enough to uh, a maximum. So there's over 2000 liters now in uh, all these uh, barrels that we've got connected and it's uh, that was only a footpath if I need to get up there now I'll just need to put the uh, scaffold plank down to uh, get across but uh, we've got a good line on it and most of the barrels uh, will fill almost to the top that drop of rain has really uh, increased the growth uh, on all the uh, vegetables and of course not forgetting uh, the weeds so we must we must not just keep harvesting we must keep weeding if we let the weeds get out of control they will take all the energy from uh, from the plants so good to keep uh, keep on top of the weeds uh, the second sowing of the climbing beans and the uh, cobras are coming on nicely. It won't be long before we get some harvest. Uh, I might take a harvest of kale today, actually. Keep picking, it'll keep giving. I'm keeping an eye on my uh, golden gourmet shallots. I'd like to make some more pickled onions. Uh, the grizzly shallots, they were in the ground too long and they started to go rotten. So I'd, I'd like to be able to do some more. They're looking quite healthy at the moment. So keeping a good eye on everything. And as expected, all the cabbages have now matured <laughs> all at the same time. I think my mother's going to have some of these. Well, and my dad. I'm sure he'll love them. And uh, we'll keep uh, harvesting the uh, broad beans to help encourage more to come. I'll keep taking the tops out. That's a tough one. Blackfly love the fresh tops and they're beyond uh, eating there. There's one we took out earlier and the pods are forming uh, nicely. Looks like we've got a weed in there somewhere, so I'll have to trace that back. Pull it out by the roots. The uh, Sugar Prince peas. Uh, not sure whether these are supposed to be uh, the, the sugar snap type where you just eat the pods, but uh, let's give them a try. Excuse me. Oh, they're nice. Very nice. These are uh, the uh, Kent Blue Pea and uh, we've just started to get a few start now so I've got to keep an eye on those and make sure I harvest them before they get too big and I think all the first sowing of peas are uh, doing okay. Bit of a mixture in here, these are the field beans we let uh, go out of control. They look okay, we're going to try a few of those as well. And of course the jobs for July, uh, just keep got to keep uh, popping these back in. And just remember that they go uh, anti-clockwise. If you put them clockwise, uh, they, uh, they'll they undo themselves. And the Knee Plus Ultra down the bottom there, they grow to about six foot and I haven't got suitable canes for those, but hopefully they'll be okay. One of my jobs for July is to sort these little oak trees out, pick the best and more than likely I'll pick the one that's uh, in the center and remove the rest. These are where the squirrels hid 
the uh, their nuts the acorns uh, in the compost that we find and they started growing all around the allotment I'm keeping an eye on the third sowing of the beets I'm going to let these mature properly keeping an eye out for the uh, beet leaf miner but hopefully these have survived Uh, but they're, they're the first uh, first wave but they're looking uh, really good well we're almost to the top so I'll switch it off during the winter uh, I would put that into there and transfer it to there so we're basically putting water to there and to there it just saves uh, putting pressure on the pump the motley dwarf virus has uh, taken hold uh, really well on this this uh, other sewing uh, that's March's sewing this was February so I'm going to be preparing this now I'm going to get some of my liquid concentrate uh, nitrogen plant food either manure or the nettle give this a good soak in then top it off uh, ready for some more um, pongo beans that I've got uh, in the uh, grow room at home some radishes we sowed on the 20th of uh, June uh, I place one at each station and there's uh, a few that are late coming but we'll uh, harvest them as they come and you turn your back on the uh, courgettes and uh, <laughs> wow Mrs K would like that one don't don't really want them to get much uh, much bigger than that but uh, hey ho we uh, bountiful crop as usual uh, I had these in the polytunnel last year and they just got out of control but these uh, pallet collar raised beds are absolutely ideal for these. The square foot garden, um, I think we planted these on the 9th of June and uh, they're ready now, if I leave them too much longer uh, they'll go. Weed as we go, those lettuces are looking nice things have gone to seed still haven't got them out just one of those but uh, I literally chopped all that lettuce down it's all come back again so we'll have a nice harvest of that again today my poor black currant bushes have took a real pound in yeah there's supposed to be footpaths down here yes we was going to put those green straps but I uh, didn't have time I'm going to be keeping an eye on these during uh, July and make sure we harvest them when they're ready but the berries are really big because of all the moisture that we've had and the care that we give them over the winter uh, there's supposed to be a path there as well excuse me nearly ready yes it's a real shame but uh, yes they're all bowed over this is a different variety comes a little bit later but this uh, is also going to be giving me uh, a bountiful crop let's have a look at the gooseberries. gooseberries again it's going to be an absolute bumper crop and as you can see now that they're just started to uh, change color they are getting a little bit squidgy some here a little bit on the redder side uh, should we give it a try excuse me almost almost ready and within a few days these have uh, already ready no doubt that rain that we've had um, will have spoiled a few but uh, excuse me oh yeah lovely first raspberries of the air these are summer fruiting and this is one bush yes just uh, one bush how many will make it home nobody knows don't tell anybody now one of the jobs I do keep an eye on the birds love the wood chips and they from the outside they're scratching all the wood chips out and they eventually uh, make their way in of course once they find their way in they can't find their way out they're lovely blueberries my legs are absolutely soaking wet now but still we're having uh, we're having a ball well are these ready don't pick them off one by one let's chuck them in excuse me yes I think uh, I'm gonna have to pick some of those as well 
I do need to get into the giant cabbage cage and uh, get some weeding done we've got onions in there as well so I need to keep them under control but everywhere you look uh, weeds and uh, the ones uh, dandelions that we need to dig out and uh, we've even got uh, fruit now forming on the autumn fruit in and it won't be long before some of the blackberries are ready everything has gone mad this year and I mean everything now these fruit trees have to be six foot high so one of my jobs priority job before I get a letter is to uh, get um, get uh, these pruned right back and hopefully uh, if I'm accurate uh, we'll get fruit next year some of these I'm going to hack off from the bottom that's supposed to be a conference pair but definitely not uh, here's the conference uh, up here that's definitely a conference but uh, yes I need to uh, measure from the top of the soil uh, with a six foot garden cane and uh, get these pruned back uh, that's going to be a priority job we've had about uh, an inch of water uh, in the last 24 hours hopefully nobody got flooded and uh, the June drop is a little bit late some of them have only just fallen off and uh, I've just got to check and make sure all our fruit is uh, nicely spaced and where we've uh, got too many we'll just take out the uh, weakest we planted all these potatoes together these are some from out of the fridge in the uh, garage holding them back and these are the four potatoes that we had planted in the five-year-old banana skins on the uh, challenge and uh, they haven't grown so I think that bananas have actually sterilized the seed potatoes so they're going to be no good and one of the jobs I've just got to remember to do I've topped this up I always switch the tap off so it doesn't get down to the float chamber so it's uh, now that the water settled I'll switch the water back on because no doubt uh, these plants will have uh, started to get a little bit thirsty and uh, a little bit slower than the polytunnel but, uh, lots of flowers no good everything coming at uh, once and we'll see how these uh, varieties do some of these are from uh, the uh, seeds heritage varieties we had from uh, shed wars and uh, the yellow pear we got I've taken the top out now it's reached the top of the greenhouse just keeping an eye on the wildflower wildlife garden uh, just trying to pull any weeds out that we can see but the uh, wildlife are loving it as you can see everything has just been bashed over by the, the rain and bar oh, gum it was heavy rain shan't have to do any watering on the outside for a bit not sure whether they're millet I'll put some millet out I don't know whether that's millet but uh, we'll see we'll see what it grows like but uh, all the pollinators are uh, enjoying this uh, space it's always well worth having uh, an area it's uh, so enjoyable to see uh, the pollinators enjoying it and then later on the birds taking the seeds now this is the water collection we've got here just off these two and uh, that's come up at least a foot so we're collecting lots of water it's good to see and I do need to sort this area out because it won't be long before we uh, lockdown's completely gone I'll be able to start collecting uh, some more manure to fill this bin up and I need to sort out 20 good one ton bags for my leaf collection find a home for the straps we've already got three bags of manure here and again some more uh, raspberries unsure of the variety but they uh, taste good very nice and I was only down here a couple of days ago and these weren't ready I'm gonna be a busy boy I entered the competition for the longest um, stem beetroot st uh, rhubarb stem and I got one at 35 and a half inches 
these strawberry plants are quite old now and the uh, birds get to them very easily so we'll probably be putting these strawberries uh, in the giant cabbage cage might not be doing giant cabbages again but I'll have this before uh, the slugs and the birds do excuse me I need to get this cut in half no time at the moment too busy at work get a few days off when it rains but other than that uh, I do what I can but mainly harvesting and uh, weeding as we go you need to make sure we weed before the seed heads pop off uh, one year's weed seven years seed as they say so we've got uh, these are these summer fruiting uh, again those but these my allotments cost me just over 60 UK pounds a year and these raspberries over the summer over the next what, three weeks will pay for the, uh, the money that we've saved so it's well worth growing your own so some courgette zucchini this is the optimum size this one's not growing very well uh, it's going to go rotten so we'll we'll take that one uh, that will pop into my lunchbox ready for monday and uh, we'll get those a uh, few weighed i've got to get to uh, picking my radishes a lot earlier than do so we've got some french breakfast some cherry bell and some uh, purple uh, plum uh, some new varieties and if i like these uh, two I uh, will be letting some go to seed. I'll leave the tops on until we're ready to put them into a sealed container. Uh, we'll put the radishes and courgettes and onions and lettuce all together in a sealed container. That keeps them fresh for at least a week. So finally, um, uh, the lettuce. We've got a nice mixed bag there. Uh, these bags are what my wife has her wool delivered in so if you know anybody that does any knitting and orders wool uh, these nets are uh, ideal uh, they wash reasonably well as well so uh, that's what we've got today I'm no doubt I've got something and I'll probably get sent back but uh, that adds uh, to the totals since we uh, started team will it grow uh, early summer so don't forget keep picking keep harvesting and don't forget successional sowing happy gardening to you all till next time my friends try for now and you forgot something Yum, yum, yum.